So today we have a special guest. This is my husband, Jeremy. Hello. And uh, we thought we would do the husband tag today. So I just Googled husband tag on Google and found a list of 36 questions that we are going to go through. We might skip a few. We might just, because we tend to be rambly people. So anyway, so let's get started. So question number one is where did we meet? Uh, we met online, um, through, um, what was it? Oh, okay, Cupid. Cupid. Yeah, I messaged her first, uh, <laughs> it was cute. I don't want to repeat what I told her. <laughs> I'll let her do that. Uh, but then our first date, our first physical meeting was in Hutchinson, Minnesota at Buffalo Wild Wings. Yep, and that's actually question number two is where was our first date. So our first date was at Buffalo Wild Wings in Hutchinson. Um, the first thing you messaged me, so my username was something about soy. I yep. can't remember because I work with soybeans for a living. Yep. And his first question, or like he first commented, was something about, hey, like I work in agriculture, you work in agriculture. What's up? Yeah, it was a good icebreaker. Yeah. I couldn't think of anything. And I thought he looked like a dork, so I had to respond. <laughs> and the rest is history. The rest is history. <laughs> Somehow I went out with you again. Yeah. Best part about our first date was how he ended it. We were out of the car, you know, after dinner, and he holds out his hand and says, See you around, babe. Okay. Or no, what did he say? See you around, kid. That was it. Let me explain kid. something. Let me let me explain something here. No. <laughs> I'm I'm a little bit older than Rachel. I'm about <laughs> nine, ten years difference. I'm a little bit older. You don't kiss anybody, you don't make moves on the first date, you don't insinuate any kind of you know intentions on the first date is supposed to be above the table <laughs> and cordial the first date you were you were definitely a gentleman but no touchy-feely crap see you around kid is what gets me i liked her but i'm like well i, I don't i'm not I have a good closing game i have great openers a great middle grain or middle game but no closing game <laughs> all right so what was your first impression of me well, my very first impression <laughs> physically was I was looking in one direction to see if she's going to start, you know, to show up from the date, to see if she's walking from that direction, and she came up from behind. So I was startled. That was my first impression. But after the <laughs> initial startle effect wore off, I was pleasantly surprised. She was, um, she was cute. Aww. Her hair was done up nice. She was dressed well. I thought she was very pretty. Why, thank you. My first impression was, uh... Good. He was very cute, and he seemed a little tongue-tied when he first met me, so that was kind of cute. Uh, when did you meet my family? So I met Jeremy's dad on our second date. <laughs> our second date was the day after not, our first date. <laughs> not intentionally. Our second date was the day after our first date. I did not. And him this. and his father went to a, a gun show together. And then we were, him and I were then supposed to meet up afterwards, and his dad wouldn't leave. Like, Jeremy was like, listen, like, this girl's coming, like, we're supposed to go on this date, like, could you please leave? And his dad wouldn't leave. So I met your dad on our uh, second date. You met my family, interestingly enough, <laughs> um, in downtown Minneapolis at a um, restaurant called Chino Latino's during Pride Week. So it was a little, a little interesting. Um, I was out of my element. Yeah. Yeah, but the food was really good. Maybe not the best choice in restaurants because it was really loud. The food was good. But the food was really good. So that's how you met my family. It was very dark, very loud. I yeah. didn't know who I was talking to. Not I, I recommend the, the um the restaurant in terms of food. I yeah. don't recommend for meeting not your parents. Not for meeting people for no. the first time. No, 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 not good. No. But it was fun. Not optimal. But th that's like me planning events as I always choose weird things. Um, weird habit of each other. Rachel loves to chew her fingernails. Yeah. I'm constantly batting her hand away from her mouth. And she, she says she paints her fingernails, like, you know, to make them look good, but it secretly is to keep herself from biting them. It's true. I bite my fingernails. Weird habit Jeremy has. Um, that would be his inability to put his socks anywhere other than the floor. 
I put them on my feet. I mean, that counts, I think, <laughs> other than the floor. They're on my feet. Yes, okay, when they're off my feet, they're not where you designate them to go, but... <laughs> He takes them off in these weird like balls and then they just like get flung around the house. I take them off with my feet. They get hooked on my toes. They go flying because of the elastic and it's just, as far as I'm concerned, I have bigger things to worry about in my life than socks. Yeah, but then I have to worry about your socks. It becomes my problem. That's why I got married. Yeah, you do. You know. Uh, how long have we been together? Two years. Two, almost Two years. Two years. May of 2014. April. April. 2014. <laughs> Has it been that long? <sighs> so, two, almost two and a half years we've yep. been together. And we've been married for eight months. Because we were married in the end of November. End of November. So, eight, nine months. The same time as the Iron Bowl, Alabama versus Auburn. Roll Tide. Which this year is on the 26th of November. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. All right. Do we have any traditions? She makes me a pizza. Yeah. Once a week. We have Sunday uh, pizza. We haven't done that in a few weeks, though. Homemade pizza. Mm -hmm. It's very good. She makes the, the dough from scratch. Um, uses either paste picante sauce, barbecue sauce, or pesto. And she just made some homemade pesto from some basil that, that she grew. Mm -hmm. So she makes one of those once a week. She always makes breakfast. Uh, most of my traditions that I remember are going to revolve around <laughs> food and her cooking. <laughs> so, I mean, but they're great traditions. Yeah. Uh, we get a Christmas tree every year. Every year. Um, yeah, we do stuff. It's like little things. We don't have any big traditions, I would say, but we've only been together for two years, so. We go to the O'Reilly's um, car show at the Minneapolis State Fairgrounds, <laughs> Minnesota State Fairgrounds every year. At least I do. Yeah. She hears about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, an animal that resembles one another. So do I have to pick something that resembles you? I guess. I don't know what you look like. You look like you. Yeah. I don't know. Let's change this to your spirit animal. Oh, crab. Yeah, I'm a crab. crab. Wholeheartedly. I, 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 I. My little pincers. Yeah. I'm a crab. You are... I don't even know. <laughs> I want to put you as a goat, but like... <laughs> Why? Is that because I eat everything in the house? You eat everything, but you're cute and you're tough. Goats are not cute. Have you seen a goat up close? I think they're cute. And then, I, I don't know. My initial reaction was goat, but I'm Goats not sure. Goats are hideous animals. Their, their eyes are devilish. Their hair is very wiry. Okay, not a goat then. Ugh. Okay, your spirit animal is our dog. Dog, yep. Yeah, is our, is specifically our dog, Copper. Yeah. I think he's your spirit animal. That's, that's pretty good. Because you two are the same. But I don't know why goat was mine. I don't, yeah, let's not. What was our first road trip? I used to drive truck over the road, mm -hmm. and I called her up one day out of the blue. I was, I was on the road, coming back toward Minnesota, and I said, hey, how do you feel about taking about six days off and going to Atlanta with me on a road trip in a truck to deliver some frozen peas? And she said, let me call you back. And she called me back a half hour later and said she was getting ready to go home to pack, to bring some stuff, and what should she bring? And that was our first road trip. She met me in Hopkins, Minnesota, and hopped in my truck, and we took off for about five or six days mm -hmm. while yep. I delivered some stuff and brought some chicken back. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, first thing you noticed about me. That kind of goes back to a first impression. What was the first thing you noticed? You were wearing a blue plaid <laughs> shirt. Yeah. And uh, you had a purple watch on mm -hmm. that was not displaying the correct time. I had not changed it for daylight savings yet. I was on our date, though, at the correct time. This is not, she's covering. She's got about 60 watches that she keeps. She's got a collection of Swatch watches. And she picked that watch, and I called her out on this on the first date. <laughs> she picked that watch to go with her outfit, and she grabbed it out of her collection and said, ooh, this one matches my, my shirt or whatever, and never set the time. So I remember that from the first date because I thought it was cute. I'm like, wow, she did dress up for me. Nice. Fashion watch. Fashion watch. She does Swatch watch. Um, Things, yeah, on one of our videos, I yeah. guess. So maybe you guys know about that. 
Um, the first thing I noticed, I guess I'm going to go back to even when we were, when we met online was his profile picture was him in a cowboy hat. So here we go. Here's him in this hat. So first impression of this guy was probably likes country music. Um, definitely likes college football. <laughs> and I don't know, I didn't know if we'd be compatible. So <laughs> you'd be looking at something though. Yeah. Um, okay. What pisses you off about the other person? Or no, just what pisses, it just says what pisses you off. Uh, for him, it would be politics. Well, wait a minute. I, do, I come, I, do I get to tell the viewers what upsets me? When my wife answers the questions <laughs> for me, that's what really pisses me off. The question is my question, and it's a video about me, and then my wife just does the whole thing for me. That is what irritates me. All right, I'm so, I apologize. What pisses Taxes. me off? Taxes. Yeah. In general, upset me, and any sort of regulations that are just unnecessary um, traffic. I mean, the list goes on. But I try not to let it bother me, um, but there are times where it's just too much. But I try not to bring it home. This is my safe spot. He does, he does good. Favorite feature about each other? Mm. Mm -hmm. I know yours. Well, I know what I like about you. What do you like about me? My favorite part about Jeremy, he's going to get super embarrassed. His beard on this side nope. has this like little cowlick and it's this little like swirl and I, I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> I'm obsessed. There you go. Now, is this a physical feature? or It just any? says feature, favorite feature. You can do physical or otherwise, I guess. Whatever you you decide. Well, you've got the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Aww. And I'm going to tell you this. You've got magic hair because your hair can do anything. I've seen about six, seven different hairstyles, and each one I thought was mm -hmm. my favorite mm -hmm. each time I see it. But every time you show me a new one, I'm like, ah, to that's my favorite. Today, it's the humidity. Oh, yeah. It still looks good. I still think it looks good. <laughs> Well, thank you. All right. Three things I am good at and three three things I'm not good at. Now, this is my question. Yeah, I'm asking you. Okay, three things I'm good at. <laughs> I'm pretty good with engines. Um, you know, you can take them apart and know what's going on. The older stuff, at least, this new stuff is not so good. I'm a pretty good shot. At least I used to be. Not as good as I was uh, when I was younger. And I'm pretty good at you know figuring out what people are talking about. You know, it's not easy to understand a person. You know, you know they might not tell you what they're they're thinking, but I tend to catch on pretty quickly. They say I'm a good listener. Maybe not. Maybe so. I don't know. And then what was the three things you're not good at? Paying taxes. Um, picking up my socks apparently. <laughs> keeping a schedule I usually just tell things to my wife I usually text her as soon as somebody says hey you've got to do this I text it to her and then she she reminds me and pre and prepares me um, when the time comes I write it down in my planner yes another one time, reason I got married he attempted to have a planner one time and then quickly gave up on it because he's like well I'll just tell everything to you it's you'll just write it down for me <laughs> it was redundant yeah. it literally was <laughs> All right, what do we argue about the most? Taxes. <laughs> um, no, well, actually, yes, taxes is one. Money is always a contentious point. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, I don't care how much money you got or how much money you don't have. I mean, we ain't rich, we ain't poor, but there's still always something to argue about. You're missing the obvious one. Your hair? The cats. Oh, the cats. <laughs> The cats live here at my behest. I allow you. She negotiated shrewdly. Before we got married, she negotiated. Before she agreed to marry me, she said, I have to be allowed to have two cats, indoor cats. To be fair, I had three cats when we met. She did. And at one point while we were married, she did manage to have three cats as well. But I put, a, I put the kibosh on that. <laughs> uh, okay. Do I have PMS? Right now? No. In general. Yes, there are self-described moments of PMS. Mm -hmm. Fair. I take her uh, one day at a time, though. So, 
Oh, I like this question. Who wears the pants in our relationship? I wear overalls all the time. <laughs> or I wear shorts. Pants are not my thing. I guess I'm the one who wears pants. Because it's true, he wears overalls or shorts. And I wear pants almost all the time. Well, currently I'm wearing shorts. Except when I get home from work, then I can't wear pants. It's but just restricting. The literal part of this question, I don't think, is what they're interested in. Who is in control? Well, a simple question. She has her list of things that she's in control of and she's best at. Then I have my list of stuff, which I then go to her and ask permission to do. Good answer. Okay. Yep. All right. Do I have any weird obsessions? She's obsessed with ants. <laughs> if she finds ants in the house, she, you know that big journal, the planner thing? <laughs> she will write in there what they're doing, where they're going, what they're eating, what color they are, how big they are. I do. I used to have an ant journal back at, okay, so this house isn't nearly as bad as our old house. Our old house had an ant problem. Like every summer, you know, those little sugar ants. And I was obsessed with watching them and like recording where they were going and like what they were doing. I had my ant journal. But we're, that's not weird. We're going to edit a lot of this out. <laughs> All right. Uh, nicknames for each other. You call me B. Oh, what? Z. Do I even need to be here? No. I call her B. B E E B. I think it's cute. It fits her personality. She buzzes around, you know, and she goes her own way and makes honey. She's sweet. Aw. And this is bad, but I call him Stink. And I, it's just what I call things I like. Like my, like, I call every, I call my dog Stink. I call the cat Stink. It's like my number one term of endearment. Like if I love you and you're at the top of my list, I'm going to call you Stink. Mm. All righty. So, question number 19. What is my favorite restaurant? Oh, there is not a, uh, an, a steady answer to that. There's a cafe in town that I like because it's close. The food's good and it's cheap. But if I had to just pick one, I, I love sushi. Anywhere that serves sushi and booze. There, I don't know. There you go. I like Cracker Barrel a lot. Oh, yeah. Cracker Barrel is really good. That's up there. That's top three. Cracker Barrel. My favorite restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I like a lot of places. Um. Okay, number 20. If I am watching TV, what am I watching? Horrible TV, probably. <laughs> Bride made Survivor Island. I don't know what, what those shows are. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Fashion Eye for the Straight Guy, something. What's that one with Christy Brinkley that you like? Project Runway. But it's not Christy Brinkley, it's Heidi Klum. Whatever. That one. Yeah, I like Project Runway. It's a, we're big YouTube watchers. YouTube is the wave of the future. Social media videos. Yeah. Uh, I don't care about what Hollywood executives want me to watch. All their stuff is crap and garbage. I'm not paying for it. I'm not interested in it. And it disgusts me. I'd rather really hear what you guys have to say. Yeah, I'll be honest, like, odds are I'm watching YouTube. I restarted Gilmore Girls today because I love Gilmore Girls, but... Trash. I love Gilmore Girls. Shut up. All right, what is one food I do not like? One food I don't like. Pears, yeah. celery. Um, there's a lot of foods I really hate. <laughs> um, but pears and celery are number one and two. I really don't like them. Ugh. Pears have that horrible texture. I get maybe when I was in school as a kid, they always gave us two sliced pears from a can. I just hate them. I don't like the flavor. The texture grosses me out. <laughs> celery is not food. As my mom would say, celery tastes the way it tastes. So that's God's way of saying, don't eat this. Don't put it in your mouth. It's all stringy and it's just a. You could starve to death faster if you ate nothing but celery. Did you, did you know that? Like if you were starving and had no food but celery, you would live longer if you did not eat the celery. Because it takes more calories to digest the celery than it does than you get from the celery. And that's not food. <laughs> Alright. What drink do I order when we go out to eat? Water. Yeah. Um, what size shoe do you wear? I wear a ten and a half wide, like uh, an E. So if you have anybody out there with some shoes you want to give up, ten and a half wide, I'll take them. Okay. 
What is your favorite kind of sandwich? One that's made for me. But uh, probably a good grilled cheese with tomato soup. Mm. I mean, I don't really eat too much of the some of the cold cuts like I used to do when I was younger, but I love salami and bologna. I love that stuff, but don't eat so much of it anymore. Not so good. Uh, what is one talent that you have? I don't have any talent. I'm an aggregate of mediocre skills at best. Nothing stands out, at least not to me. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you don't have like one of those weird talents or something that. That's my talent. <sighs> what would you eat every day if you could? Your wife's cooking. My wife's cooking. Probably eggs. I do eat eggs every day. I love eggs. Meat, chicken, turkey, fish. I mean, that's, I'm really not picky. Eggs would probably be my number one thing. They're so versatile. And she does really good with eggs. Well, she makes a mean fried egg. Thank you. What is your favorite cereal? Um, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe Life cereal? Frosted uh, Mini Wheats? I don't eat cereal that much. What is your favorite kind of music? Quiet music. Stuff that's played at a low volume so it doesn't obtrude into what I'm thinking about or doing or watching. Um, the quieter, the better. No, I don't know. I used to love a lot of the late 70s punk. You know, the Pistols. Um, I do like the Ramones, so does she. We went to a GNR concert, Guns N' Roses. I love them. Um, rock and roll. I like some old country. I don't like any of the new stuff. I'm old, so. And you and your quiet music. Quiet. <laughs> oh, I know the answer to this one. What's your favorite sports team? Alabama Roll Tide. Crimson Tide. Crimson Tide. That's right. Well, the Twins are pretty close, but they're they're not doing so good. Yeah. So Alabama. Yeah. Uh, what is your eye color? Would you like me to answer that one? Because I see your eyes more than you do. He has what I call magic eyes. I think people call it hazel, but I think that's a cop-out term. His are a blue-green-gray mixture that sometimes looks turquoise, sometimes looks gray, most of the time looks blue. I'd say my eyes are bloodshot half the time. Nah. Oh, damn it. All right, question 31. Who is your best friend? My wife. Plain and simple. I got a good friend uh, down in Alabama still, Luke Carter, best friend. He's a good guy. Single. All right. <laughs> yeah, he is. Um, something you do that I wish you didn't do. There's, where do I start? The socks bother you. <laughs> See, this is the problem. I never, I never remember what she doesn't want me to do. So I end up doing it and then get in trouble for it. Um, she, taking my pillow. She hates it when I leave stuff on. Like if I leave the TV on. Yeah, taking her pillow, she hates that. I'm notorious for that. I'm the worst sleeper. It amazes me to this day that she sleeps in the same bed I do. Because I'm a, just a miserable partner for, for trying to actually get sleep. I, I sleep like cement. So yeah. that's how we work out. Yeah. So it's amazing. I toss and turn. I'm like a, a sailboat in a storm. But. All right, where are you from? I was born in Phoenix, Arizona, on an Air Force base. I've lived everywhere. North Carolina, Alabama, Georgia, New Mexico, a lot of time here in Minnesota. Just all over. Air Force brat, what can I say? Mm -hmm. What kind of cake would you bake for me on my birthday? Carrot cake. Yep. That's what I would bake. Yeah. That's your favorite too? Yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah. That's why I would make a carrot cake. <laughs> for you? Well, you're not going to eat all of it. Give me some for me too. It's my birthday. I baked it. I'm going to get some of it. And it better be a good cake. How often do I make food specifically for you? Every day. Yeah. All right. Question 35. Do you play any sports? Motor sports. That's my favorite. I drag race, uh, street race. Not as much as I used to. Not much into team sports, never have been. Maybe the drinking sports. 
poker, bowling. Billiards. You're a pretty yeah. good dart thrower. Darts, oh yeah, I like some darts. I'll play darts. That's a team sport, isn't it? No. Eh. Okay, and final question number 36. What can you spend hours doing? Talking politics, listening to talk radio. Oh, I love it. Cutting grass, <laughs> yard work, working on cars. I don't know. Hunting, being with my wife. Yeah, I was going to say, hanging out with me. Hanging out with you. Aw. He's cute. So anyway, everybody, that is the husband tag. Um, you know, something a little bit different, non-stitchy related. My mom's pointed out numerous times that she says all I do is talk about him, so I figured we'd introduce him, get it all over with, and then I don't have to mention him ever again because you've met him. You're, yeah. up, you're off the hook. Thank God. Anyway, so thank you so much. Comment down below if you like this type of video, and um, if anybody on Floss 2 would like to do this type of thing, I think it's fun to see people's families and their significant others or whoever. So I tag all of you. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.